When the sun sets, the village of Chicanou, some 30 kilometers east of Pointe Noire, goes completely dark. In her small shop, Antoinette uses a torch to serve her customers. Look, when I display the products on my stall, people come and steal them because I can barely see anything. Not so long ago, I bought a freezer. You can still see the wires, but I had to sell it because there's no power. In the neighboring village of Bunji, this farmer had all his sheep stolen. He says it's impossible to watch over his livestock at night without light. He also thinks that the local economy is being held back by the lack of electricity. Some people use generators, but most of us can't afford them. Foreign companies have been pumping oil for decades. It's about time they gave us electricity. Everyone will be better off. Some would make food and sell it. We'd have carpentry workshops, we'd make furniture. This would create jobs. Most villages in the area have yet to be connected to the power grid. But only a few kilometres away, oil companies enjoy a 24-hour supply of electricity thanks to a network of high-voltage lines. The Catholic Church launched a campaign back in 2017 to denounce what they say is a blatant example of injustice. The message we want to send to politicians and foreign investors with electricity for all is that you cannot get rich while the rest of the population remains in poverty, right on the doorstep of oil companies. Congo Brazzaville's national electricity company declined our request for an interview. The Congolese government, meanwhile, said that improving access to power remains one of its top priorities.